Figuring out the appropriate lot size in your trading is vital to make sure that we are staying within risk parameters. So for example, if you have an account and you're only able to risk 4% on the daily drawdown, you need to know how much you can risk per pip. And this can be done very simply by working on your lot size. Working on your lot size can be done on TradingView, and it also can be done on Match Trader and C Trader and all the applications that you may use. But in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down how to see it on trading view and then you can adapt that to your platform whichever platform you use implementing this into your training will take around one to two minutes just to make sure that your lot size is correct in regards to your risk um, and then you can also work out how much you are going to make if your trade hits take profit if you are looking for partials then this will be changed okay so we have to make sure we're adapting and changing this in regards to if we're adding or removing lot sizes. But if you've ever wondered what lot size is appropriate for this risk, then this is the video for you and I'm gonna be breaking it down for you. So for a rule of thumb, we're gonna be using the long position calculator or the short position calculator on TradingView. These are the two elements that are gonna enable us to make sure that we are using the right lot size. So let's say for example, we were to short EURUSD here, this is on a EURUSD chart. So I'm gonna short position around this height up here and I'm gonna place my stop loss just above the highs as we would anyway. And I'm gonna take my take profit down here. What you then wanna do is double click onto this once you've set up your trade and I want you to put in your account size. For this example, I'm gonna put a $1,000 account, okay? I know GFT doesn't offer a $1,000 account, but it's just easy for the lesser. And if you wanna do a $100,000 account, of course, just add on the numbers. But let's do a $1,000 account to take into account um, what lot size for you. So we're now on a $1,000 account, and as you can see, we have a risk to reward ratio of 3.05. This basically means we're risking one per three, okay? Uh, and how much do we wanna risk? On a GFT account, Actually, scrap that, because you guys probably want me to do a $100,000 account. So we do a $100,000 account, as you can see my trade view's changed. We're gonna be changing my risk. So I wanna be risking 1.25%, let's say for example, okay? So now we get given this number. So this is the main number you wanna be looking at, the quantity. So this is the units that we're gonna be trading with. And this is 664893. So now we have our unit size, the 664893. That is the units that we are going to be buying of your USD at this risk tolerance. So we're risking 1.5% on a $100,000 account. So what I'm gonna do is put in this number, 664893. I'm gonna divide this by 10,000. And that will give me 66 lots or 66.48 lots. Round to the nearest, I'd say two decimal places. So one, two, We'll round the nine up to the nine, so we'll go six six four nine. So I'm going to put in six six four nine. That's six six four nine, and that is going to be my lot size on this trade. And basically, what this is telling me is, if I use a lot size of six six four nine, and we're looking at this risk here, so just above these highs, I'm only going to be losing one point two five percent. Okay, and if you're looking at your take profit, how much you're going to make, then just simply do six six four nine. So let's double check that this 6649, this random number that we've got is correct. So we are risking 1.25%, which would be $1,250. So I have 18 pip stop loss. So I have 18.8 stop loss. So if I do 66.49 times 18.8, that's the amount of pips that we're willing to lose. That's gonna net us a loss of 1,250 with a bit of change and also commissions, remember that on top of it. And then we'll work out our take profit. So our take profit is the number after the percentage. So that's our pips amount that we're gonna be making 57.3. We're doing 57.3 times 66.49, which is our lot size here. And that will equal $3,809 profit on this trade. Okay, so just to review it one more time, all we have to do is put in the trade, okay? And then we put our quantity to the pips and things like that. So. Let's do it one more time. So let's go for an example where we get rid of this and we'll go for a long position, okay? So let's say, for example, we took this great long position. So I'm gonna put on my long position. Let's say, for example, we're back here. So we wanna aim for those highs and our risk just below those lows, okay? And we're gonna double click this again. I'm gonna go for a $100,000 account. We're gonna be risking, let's risk 2% on this. So we risk $2,000. So we're risking $2,000 there. Our quantity is Nine hundred thirty thousand and some change. So I'm going to go off my calculator, and now we can pull up our calculator and calculate it. So if we have this unit, so we're having nine hundred thirty thousand units of EURUSD we're buying with that risk that we put on. So we're going to go nine 
9.30, oh, I put too much on, so 9.30, 2, 3, 2, okay. I'm going to divide this by 10,000 as we did before, and that's going to give us 93.2. And again, the third decimal place is a 3, so we're going to, you know, put 93.02 instead of 93.03, because this is not a, a, a 5. If you know maths, you know maths, okay? Um, and we're going to calculate the risk. So again, 21 pips. We do 21 pips times 5. Um, and what was it? 90, let's go back. Is 93.02, so 93.02. That's going to risk us around $2,000. Okay, that's what the risk we had on, so 2%. So that's perfect for us. If we pull up the calculator again. Let's calculate our profit. So we have a profit target of 141.5 pips. So I'm going to go back into my calculator and go 141. Is it 5? Yeah, it was 0.5. And then we're going to times this by 93. 0.02 that's our lot size that we're going to use it and that will give us 13,162 in profit okay that is basically how you figure it out it's not extremely difficult we're going to go through one more example just so you guys can kind of get in the mindset of it so if we go back onto here and we'll actually go back and find a trade let's go for this long position here say for example we want to go long here first thing you do is go right i'm going long here and because a GFT account is a 4% risk per day. I'm going to aim for this low. Okay, so if that low gets broken, according to my technical analysis, I know it's going to break, etc. Like the, the market is going to push down from there. So we're just looking at a simple trade like this. I'm going to double click this and let's say, for example, we have a $50,000 account. We're going to put a $50,000 account and we want to risk 3%. Okay, so we've got one more percent of the daily drawdown and we're going to OK that. And then it's going to tell us our position size. So if we go on to this now, we're going to go through this quantity. So we have, just to go through it one more again, we have a $50,000 account with 3% risk. If we go on our calculator, what we want to do is look at the unit. So we're going to go 1456310, and we're going to divide this by 10,000 again, and that's going to give us 145.6. And again, this is probably not going to allow you uh, this position size, but that's fine. And then we're going to work it out. So 10 lots, 10.3 times 145.63. That will give us a $1,500 loss. So now we have our loss in. So we have a $1,500 loss at this low. Um, and we have this target high. So what we're going to do is go for 31.6 times 145.6 times 145. Wait, let me just double check that. Six. Yeah, 6.3. And that will give us a net profit of 4,190. And again, if this lot size is too high for you, we're going to change our risk parameters and we're going to, you know, do elements different. But that is what is going to give you the most kind of correct lot sizes. It's what's going to create the lot size calculator to be a breeze. There's no point in going on these crazy websites and trying to find the lot size calculator and put your account balance in with your TP and your SO. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is work out the unit price on your chart, put your account size in, put how much percentage you want to risk, and then take the units that you're going to be trading and divide that by 10,000. And then once that's divided by 10,000, it'll give you your lot size. And then all you have to do is do pips on your TP or SL times by the lot size, and that will give you the dollar amount that you are going to make or lose. I hope this video helps clearing up any kind of rough edges that you guys might have with lot size calculations. A lot of traders will typically put in one or two lots, but if you get the perfect correct lot size, it can actually enable you to net more gains and also keep a quite clean sheet on your losses. Another element I see a lot of traders doing is placing the order entry and then working out their stop losses and their take profits and they're adjusting their lot size again and again and again and trying to find the right kind of area that you want a lot size at. But this is not sustainable, it's not quick. This is actually quicker. It seems like more work, but it is quicker to do it this style. This is the style I've been using for a long period of time and it's worked for me. It's quite simple. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Simple breakdown, just a quick video, uh, understanding lot sizes and how to trade them 
correctly. If you like more videos like this, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what type of videos you'd like to see in the future. We currently have a 25% sale on all GFT accounts. So if you'd like to purchase an account, make sure you visit the website in the description and use the code GFT25 for 25% off your next account. Appreciate you all for hopping in. I'll see you in the next video.